This was the first time we had a balcony stateroom. It was certainly more spacious than the inside staterooms that we've had on previous cruises. Time to check out the balcony and take in the Sydney Pier and of course the Sydney skyline. It was quite dark by the time we left Sydney Harbour and we were followed by a number of scavenging seagulls. I got up early the next morning and ventured out to the balcony for our first sunrise at sea. The Ocean View Cafe was open most of the time for extended breakfast, lunch, dinner and yes, even snacks. I found the glass-backed lifts quite fascinating, travelling all the way from Deck 3 up to Deck 14. The gentle movement of the ship caused the swivel chairs in the Sky Lounge to do a strange dance. Chris enjoyed the adult colouring in. This was one of the many activities that were available around the ship.
Our first port of call was the Bay of Islands, New Zealand. This was a tendering port. The ship anchored in the bay and we were ferried ashore and back on the ship's tenders. beautiful place to live out on the water which um, thanks to you guys coming out today I get to do every day for a job so I definitely appreciate that and I hope you all enjoy your lunch cruise after us today. So thank you very much everybody. Thank you. We are now waiting for our tenders to return us to the ship. The tendering process was very easy and there were always crew members available to assist. Our next port of call was Auckland, New Zealand.
We are on our way again and we now have four sea days to get to French Polynesia. This was a lovely relaxing time and there was plenty to do on the ship.
We did not do a lot in Hawaii due to our restricted walking abilities. We were going to go on a one hour helicopter tour around the island, but this unfortunately was cancelled due to a crash of one of the company's helicopters the day before we arrived. The pilot and two tourists unfortunately were killed in the crash. We did manage, however, to visit Pearl Harbor. The memorial platform over the sunken Arizona was undergoing repairs, but we were able to visit the memorial by boat. We sailed past the USS Missouri, where Japan signed their surrender, bringing an end to World War II. We flew from Hawaii straight to New York, and this is the hotel where we stayed the Crown Plaza, right in Broadway and Times Square. Our room was on the 40th floor and we had a great view from our bedroom window. One of the items on our bucket list was a trip around Central Park. A black squirrel, and we were told that this was a rare sight to see.